for my sixth grade play, I was cast as Napoleon Bonaparte. I still remember the song. Oh, his name's Napoleon Bonaparte, and have I got a deal for you. <clears throat> Understudy. Anyway, it was sixth grade. So in this song, Napoleon talks about a fork in the road, a branch in the river. And that song started percolating in my consciousness lately. And I came to this kind of aha moment where I realized that throughout our days, for each of us, we come to forks in the road. We come to a branch in the river of our evolution. And that is the choice to stretch into what's possible, to take an action in service of the future, so to speak, or to remain in what's safe. So this fork in the road entails stretching into what's possible or basking in what's familiar. Now, neither of these are inherently good, bad, right, or wrong. They're opportunities, they're choices that lay before you like a Rolodex of possibilities and you are consciousness free and free to choose. So throughout our days, we come to these choices. I can stretch in service of my evolution or I can default into what's familiar. And what's pretty interesting here is that stretching into evolution often requires the experience of uncomfortab uncomfortability, inconvenience, um, sacrificing sense of self, that idea of ourselves, that egoic sense of self. Oftentimes we have to transcend that smaller sense of self in order to really stretch into what's possible. So stretching into what's possible feels crunchy so often. And yet that's where the real juice of our evolution lies. On the other hand, steeping in what's familiar and what's comfortable, the, the payoff there is immediate. It, everything it, it is known and it's safe and it's familiar. Nothing is being asked of us. But the longer term consequence is that we're staying the same. We're remaining as the person that we've been because we're choosing from the past. We're choosing from what's familiar rather than choosing out of vision, choosing from what's possible. So that long, that vision oriented action feels more challenging out the gate and has a longer term payoff. Defaulting into comfort has that initial uh, yumminess of the safety of home or what you've known home to be, but it really misses out on the core evolutionary opportunity that would come if we were just willing to make that initial sacrifice. So hopefully this is some food for thought, perhaps a buffet, and more importantly than thought, begin to take action on what you're noticing. You can even say or think to yourself, wow, I met a fork in the road here. This is an evolutionary opportunity. I can stretch into what's possible or I can default into safety. The choice is mine. And even if you choose to default, that's not bad or wrong. This game is simply about drawing awareness to the fact that you have choice in the matter in the first place and then making a choice that is most resonant for your soul and the path that you're on right now. Thank you so much for taking the time. It's been an honor and I will see you so soon.